What is the root of ambition and passion? How did Rourke's ambition and passion originate from rationality? Well, of course, he had to have uh, intelligence, an active mind. He had to be in a situation where there was a, enough knowledge to make that choice possible. He couldn't have made it possible. He couldn't have made it in, in, in a pre-industrial age, certainly not in, in the form he did. He had to have a certain kind of, let's say, temperament. He would not have been happy uh, being a philosopher. He wanted contact with the physical, but he wouldn't have happy being, been happy being a contractor. He wanted the intellectual, artistic uh, component. So whether you call that temperament or you call that basic approach, uh, whatever, you need all that developed from uh, your rationality. And then within that framework, if you've got all that, it is a matter of focused direction, uh, which may at the outset be accidental. In other words, it may be that the first thing he focused on, the first thing that was, you know, hit him was shape, structure, or spatial organization, and then he pursued that. That struck him. He saw something, and he went on and on and grew, whereas Mozart undoubtedly would have heard notes, and uh, a couple notes, and he was fascinated by that, uh, and he uh, uh, pursued that. So uh, I think what it is is that there's an unlimited number of aspects of reality that you could focus on. If you're a tabula rasa, like career-wise, you're a blank slate, you're intelligent, the knowledge is there, the general cultural knowledge, you have a category of what you want, and you're looking, a million different things could hit you, uh, and uh, uh, if you pursued that focus uh, that you started with as a child, you uh, you could end up uh, uh, as a, uh, as a, as a passion and ambition uh, for that field. Now you ask me, could Rourke then have been fulfilled by other careers also by the same uh, process? I think so, within limits. Uh, I think he could. I won't say what they are, but uh, simply because there's nothing in reality or in rationality that mandates this. It's his, it's his choice, his fascination. And uh, I don't see any reason why, if, if another aspect of reality struck him and was within you know, the, the basic framework of what he was looking for, uh, I mean, for instance, the union of, of thought and action, uh, I don't see why uh, he couldn't uh, have gone elsewhere. Well, within uh, limits, some kind of uh, engineering, some kind of inventor. Uh, but it's hard, you know, to even imagine that because we think of him so obviously as, as an architect.